I wanted to share with you all my favorite way to air layer a fig tree. I simply take an old bottle, plastic bottle, 16 ounce, 20 ounce, uh, doesn't matter. And then uh, in this clip here, I'm showing you where I make the cuts and how it all comes together. What I'm doing here is taking out a section of the plastic bottle and essentially making a, a lid which will go on top of the air layer as you'll see later on in the video. Here I use a set of tin snips to get through the hard plastic of the mouth of the bottle and then I'll take my regular scissors and cut all the way up to the other end of the bottle, turn it around and then cut about an inch on the other side. And this just allows for the bottle to open up nice and, and wide when it comes time to remove the air layer. So this is the air layer lid and I'm cutting up one side all the way up to the center and then just cutting out a hole around the middle and that's where the branch will come through. And this is the final product. That's all there is to it. So I love using clothespins for air layers. I use it to put it at the bottom of the air layer bottle to prevent it from sliding down the branch. And what I like to do is take the spring out and bend it a little bit so it reduces the tension. And my thinking is it uh, puts less pressure on the growing branch because uh, the next four to eight weeks that's going to get a little bigger and I just think it uh, reduces the stress on it. So now I'm preparing a branch and I'm removing the leaves in the, in the area that I want to put the air layer on. And a lot of people will girdle this, the wood, um, and that does help. It helps it root a little faster, but most of the time it'll root just fine doing this way too. So now I just slip the bottle over the branch and then I use packaging tape because it's nice and wide and I just kind of closes off the bottle and makes it, uh, it allows it to retain the soil. And here's where the clothespin comes into play. I just simply put it on the bottom and uh, that keeps the air layer bottle from sliding down the branch. It works really well. Now you start filling up the air layer bottle with your favorite mix. I use Pro Mix BX, but you can use sphagnum peat moss, sphagnum moss, anything that retains moisture. And uh, <clears throat> as I'm filling it up, I'm packing it in pretty well. And once I get to the top, you just make sure that that branch is centered in the bottle so all the roots can grow evenly. So after you filled up the bottle, now we use the bottom of the bottle, which is now the lid, and it slides over the, the top nice and easy. It's just a perfect fit. And then I take my packing tape and secure it to the bottle. And I like to add another piece at the top, right, right against the branch, so uh, there's just a very little opening there just for the air layer to breathe a little bit. And finally, I take a piece of aluminum foil and wrap it around to reflect the sun away from it. And that's it. It's all done. So on June 7th, I started this air layer you see right here. And this is on green growth. I didn't girdle the, the branch or anything. Um, you really don't have to. It takes root much easier this way in my opinion. And uh, the next clip you'll see will be the results of this just 30 days later. And you'll see that it's put on about 30 inches of growth. So I just take my pruners and cut the branch right below the air layer bottle. And I'm just showing you the roots throughout the bottle here and it's a good two and a half three feet tall now the unfortunate part is I had to snip about half of it away because 
a small root ball will only support so much top growth. So that's the trade-off you have too. So using a bigger air layer container, you might be able to keep more top growth. And I'm removing two leaves because you only want just a couple in there. So during the recovery, it's not so stressed and it's you won't get those limp leaves and it'll recover nicely. So here comes the delicate part of the process. First I'm finding the bottom of the lid of the air layer taking a new sharp blade and cutting along the tape line and that's going to free up the lid so I can then peel that gently away from the, the root ball. And on this particular air layer put electrical tape at the bottom which really isn't necessary so it just shows me cutting that away and that came off without hurting anything. If you recall at the beginning of the video when I was cutting, when I was making the cut from top to bottom on this bottle, um, this is where I'm taking that razor blade and cutting the tape to separate it and this shows how easy it comes apart from the, the root ball. I know it makes you cringe looking at the roots being pushed around and pulled but uh, you're, you're going to break a couple roots and that's okay. Overall, it came out really nice. Since I didn't stake the, the air layer as it was growing, uh, it lignified and it grew kind of at a curve. So I have to place the root ball in the pot at an angle. Just keep the, the tree as straight as possible. It's not a big deal. It's only going to be in this pot probably the rest of the season. And then next spring when I go to a larger pot, I can adjust it from there, but it's it's going to do just fine. I needed to add just a little bit more of the soil mix. As you can see here, just as I explained, I'm getting it pre-moistened, stirring it around, and then uh, now I'm topping off the tree, and this one's all done. Just kind of tamp it down a little bit, lightly, gently, shake it around, make sure everything's settled in, and uh, I think we'll start seeing new growth pretty soon. This is an air layer I did the day before, and I'm using packing tape as a lid. Um, the adhesion from the tape, after four to eight weeks, it doesn't have any negative effects on the soil or the roots. Uh, it, it's not going to attach to it. It'll come off easily. But it's just a different option to use if you don't have that lid or that perfect fit like uh, the previous bottle I showed you. The bottom line is you can, you can use plastic bag as an air layer. This You don't have to use this method. This is just what I prefer. I like uh, how it's uniform with the size and it's just easy to, to take apart after everything is rooted. Um, there's, there's tons of ways you can do it, but this is just my way. I thought I'd share it with y'all. Maybe it'll help someone out. Thanks.